South Australia, baby! And she's gonna be driving on the beach for the very first time. Just here, hanging out in Mount Gambia. I might get attacked by a Bengal tiger. I thought it was rubbish. It looked like a dog. Ah, sad times when you get excited by good roads and tailwinds, but that's what we've got today. And look where we are. South Australia, baby! Where are we? South Australia. Where are we? South Australia. We have just legged it from Port Ferry this morning. Uh, pretty damn good roads, and we're on our way to Robe. That's from the excavator. I think it's from a truck, It's from a truck. Anyway, we're going to Robe. We're going there for oh, a good little time, maybe five nights. We've gone from Tassie, we spent five nights in... Truck goes black. Five nights in Ballarat as I had three weddings to do. And we're back on the road again now. We've got out of Victoria. There's Victoria just over there. We've got a little family over there. Doing the same thing as us, going the other way. And we are in South Australia. everything on our trip we are not really organized and we've got quite a few veggies to throw our fruit we're pretty good with but yeah veggies we have to quarantine with so um, yeah just gonna dump them now we're in South Australia so stop the battle within your soul you know it's all in your head It seems your heart just needs a fresh start on the rosé and the little kidlets are on the
just been at the Robe Town Brewery. Absolutely sensational. As you can probably tell by my slurring of words, I've had a couple of beers. Uh, just going back to the caravan park now. But first of all, we're, we're having a swim. We're having a swim, are we? In the beach. Well, we've got Mama. Mama's driving. Let's get in early. And she's going to be driving on the beach for the very first time. She's got us bogged already. How you going, Mama? Fine, oh, thanks. No mommy, fake. Mr. Six beers in. I have to drive. See you around. Just kicking yeah. back. What's your thoughts on beach driving, Mama? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty easy. You could bring any car down here. Oh. Don't talk it down. I'm a pro now, first time I've done it. We're going to have to get the max tracks out a hundred times to get to oh, this little spot here. It's not like there's two wheeled cars getting on everywhere. Look at this. Thoughts? Yeah, pretty nice. I'd give it so far a seven, but I haven't been here long, so it might get better. Another glorious day in paradise. What's happening? He was just being collecting shells for me. A little shell collector at the back over there. What's going on with you, Will? Astrophotography. Astrophotography. Ah, oh, I just had a little fish on the lures here at Robes Long Beach. Supposedly there's a lot of fish around, but uh, they must have slept in today because I didn't get anything but seaweed. So I made a bet with the kids. If I don't catch something of legal size in South Australian waters, I'll give them 50 bucks each. So, South Australia, what are you gonna, what are you gonna buy the 50 bucks? Probably Lego. Probably Lego. What do you got there? Some shells. I'm looking for shells. Woo! Pretty lazy day today, I think. We'll just uh, hang around here and uh, have a swim. Head into town a bit later. A few more beers at some point and uh, do not a lot. What do you reckon, Will? Do not much?
you want to leave this place where we grew up This old town, just put it all behind Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide When we were kids so we could see and hear the water run the river's gonna cry when you're gone River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you are. River's gonna cry when you are. River's gonna cry when you're gone. Just here hanging out in Mount Gambia. Day trip in here, or more like a half day trip, because it is scorching hot. I think we're on the on the way to 37 degrees today. Um, and where are we at the moment? Uh, we're in a sinkhole. In a sinkhole. We're smack bang in the middle of town. Something called the Cave Gardens, maybe. There's a shopping trolley all the way down there. Um, but yeah, just checking out a few of the caves. The, the Why is there a shopping trolley? Will's eating his lolly, he just wants everyone to know that. Uh, yeah, just checking a few caves, doing a half day trip and then getting back to Robe because it's, it's like 10 degrees cooler in Robe today. So, more bees, another beehive there, Eva. Over there. All the bees coming and going. Uh, but yeah, gonna have the, the afternoon at the beach. After we check out what Mount Gambia's kind of got in a whirlwind kind of way. Might even have a little swim at Little Blue Lake if we can get over that way as well. So, Umfenson's, what was that called? Umfenson's Cenote. Uh, go check out Big Blue Lake. And I don't know what else there is here to do. So, pretty cool though. Something different for the kids. And, um, yeah. I don't know what I'm meant to feel anymore I take it out of my girls and I smash that door I fucked around with myself and I let you know That if you're up there watching, start the show Say it's over my friend How long until the end Cause I'm past the point where I can amend I don't love myself but I can pretend Repeated cycles in my head bring me down I've been itching at the back of my head, the crown If I remain or inside my head, it's one of the two Cause this head is controlling me, and me it's just you Say it's over my friend how long until the end 
Cause I'm past the point where I can amend I don't love myself but I can pretend Sit on the banks. There you go. Motorbike corn. Motorbike corn? Ooh, Looks like a hot cross bun to me. Just sitting on the banks of Mount Gambia's Blue Lake. It's absolutely beautiful. I didn't expect this at all. Isn't that the geography from a playground? Thoughts? Oh yeah, it's amazing. It looks like it's painted. It looks like they put a lot of food on Looks like what? There's a lot of blue food dry in it. The longer I waited, the more that I've tried. All the years that I've wasted, trying to find it. All that I go through. Peace of mind, let it all go out the window. No smoke in my eyes, I can hear the wind chime. It's always been. So it's blue from November through to April and then winter kind of turns grey apparently. 
Um, but it has got to blew me away. I wasn't expecting that at all. Then we went for a little swim at Little Blue Lake, which was bloody refreshing. It's well, the car at the moment is saying 39 degrees. Um, our little Victorian bones are not acclimatized <laughs> to that just yet. So we are roasted. Yeah, we were only going to do a half day in Mount Gambier because of this weather and get back to Robe for some for some swimming. But um, yeah, time's just got away from us, and we've just been to the. Tantaluna Caves, which was uh, very impressive as well, to be honest. I'm not a caves don't really do much for me, but we thought we'd take the kids there and uh, check it out. It was like 37 bucks or something to get in uh, for the family, and we spent probably only 15 20 minutes there. But the kids loved it, we loved it. Um, got a newfound love for caves, it was sort of discovered by a 16 year old kid chasing his ferret down what he thought was a rabbit hole and opened up into this massive cabin. So yeah, now we're just, we're trying to, I don't know, walk on eggshells a little bit because there's a bit of a beast around here, the Tantaluna Tiger. Apparently he's, uh, there's a tiger in the area that once upon a time in the late 1800s took uh, thousands of sheep um, off properties and kids were riding on their horsebacks to school with shotguns and everything like that. There was a bit of a story where a circus lost a Bengal tiger. Um, which they reported and authorities never found but they caught something it's an Assyrian wolf or Russian wolf um, which was apparently the culprit it's now taxidermied and stuffed at the local pub so we're going to check that out and I think on a day like today we need a cold beer as well so I don't know what was your thoughts on Mount Gambia mama? Oh, I really liked it I, same as Dada Blue Lake blew me away that was my favourite part but love the caves as well. Uh, very unexpected. Eva? Leaves? Uh, I reckon in the camp here, I like the swimming the most. The swimming? Yeah. The swimming was refreshing, wasn't it? And then I got, and I got a Lego. You got a Lego because you got in, because you're a bit scared. Why are you a bit scared? Because there's no bottom on it. No, that's right. There's, what is it? Oops. It's, uh, what, 37, 37 metres deep? No, 47 metres deep um, in the Little Blue Lake. So crystal clear water and bloody delicious. And what did it used to be, Eva? It used to be a volcano. Pretty cool. Well, maybe, maybe part of, sinkhole from that. So, um, yeah, but we're just pulling into Tantaluna now. Car's saying 40 degrees and I can see see a tiger on top of the pub so I think that's Ooh there's a tiger <laughs> Hey is it? Where's the tiger feather? All the years that I wasted trying to find that I go through for my peace of mind let it all go out the window no smoke in my eyes so pretty standard we've just gone and seen the uh, we've gone to the Tangaloo Tantalula uh, Tiger Hotel. How many beers have you Yeah, Trina's asking how many beers there. Well, that's why I'm in the passenger seat because I've had I've had a couple too many. So, Mama's driving the hour back to Rome now. Um, but yeah, just a couple more things on the tiger because it fascinates me. So, oh, as she misses again. Oh, please, I didn't miss again. <laughs> um, so, it was. As I said, I think earlier, it was an Assyrian or Russian wolf um, that had escaped from a whaling boat, but they only caught it after they were chasing or um, hunting the Bengal tiger that escaped from a circus, which is kind of crazy. And they, ne and they never found the, the Bengal tiger. So for all we know, like, pea stop that I'm about to take in about five minutes up the road, I might get attacked by a Bengal tiger. 
there's the caves that we just had before. Um, but no, this 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 wolf apparently was the culprit of well that they say or folklore says thousands of sheep deaths. But just reading in the pub as well, there was also like 20 years after this another. <laughs> Another guy had actually got um, arrested because he was killing and skinning and selling the hides of sh like 20 to 40 sheep a night. So he had this den, which they described as like a lion's den in the shrub because it's full of shrub this area. Um, that he used to take them back, skin them, the carcasses, and he was, he was arrested in jail for like six years. So. I don't know, it's kind of kind of weird, but this is kind of what I'm really excited for in traveling. Like, it, it, it sees things like that. Like, it, I told the, the publican that um, this sort of thing excites me, and he kind of scoffed at me, but... Um, it's because you're weird. Yeah, anyway, might be the beers talking. But yeah, what did you think of the tiger, guys? The tiger... The tiger... It was good, was he? He's not real anymore, no. Because if he was real, how old would he be? Hundred and he'd be like 130 years old. So he'd be an old tiger. But they never caught the Bengal tiger, the real tiger, that escaped from the circus. So he could be, he could be out that window if you look hard enough. So. From a circus. Oh, there's lots of folklore about things like that escaping in the past. Like back home, they got the Otway Panthers and the. Grampians, Panthers, and... Is it actually dead? The bee panther. We Is never... it actually dead? We don't know, babes. It could be right behind that roadwork sign up there. For all we know. So, what do you think, Mama? I thought it was rubbish. It looked like a dog. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look like a dog. Yeah. It did look like a dog. It was the oh, size... It was the size... It was the size of, like, a German Shepherd. And the publican reckons... When you taxidermy some taxidermy something, it reduces by thirty percent when the skin shrinks. Do you reckon he just told you that to sell your beers? Or? Don't know. But if you go on there, eight dollar eight dollar pints, which is a schooner in Victorian terms, still coming to terms with how to pronounce them as well. So anyway, the beers are talking, so I'll leave you to it. If it's safe to swim and you can swim, we swim because it's bad rules.